Well, listen, the liberal schemes, scams, and spin jobs don't help the millions of desperate, hungry Canadians <laughs> struggling just to get by every single month. This is a fact. When you tax the farmer who produces the food, the trucker who ships the food, and then the cost of heating and cooling and storing the food, Canadians can't afford the food. But these out-of-touch carbon tax crusaders, they don't care. And they're going to quadruple it on April 1st. Conservatives will ask the tax for all for good. But why won't these liberals just pass Bill C-234, reject the Senate amendments, tax the tax on farmers and bring down food prices today? The significant impact of economic realities on the daily lives of Canadians, particularly concerning policies implemented by the Liberal Party, it highlights the struggles faced by millions due to economic adversity caused by these policies. The narrative delves into the human aspect of political discourse, revealing the desperation and hunger prevalent among Canadians, influenced by both individual experiences and governmental decisions. Criticism is directed at the carbon tax, reflecting public unease regarding its economic implications, especially its negative effects on farmers, truckers, and consumers, and its departure from free market principles. An emotional appeal is made to empathize with desperate, hungry Canadians, emphasizing the personal responsibility involved and the need for pragmatic solutions like endorsing legislations like endorsing legislation CT 143 and opposing Senate amendments. The discussion of the acts on farmers reflects a preference for reduced government intervention in the economy among Canadians. The mention of April 1 and the proposal to quadruple the carbon tax adds a sense of uncertainty about the future. Overall, underscores the anxiety surrounding the detrimental impact of the carbon tax on Canadians' lives and calls for action aligned with public values.